This is a one transistor audio amplifier and it's a very typical setup. We've got for the load a 1K resistor and we've got an emitter resistor of 150 ohms and then we've got two biasing resistors the 10K and the 2.2K ohm resistors to bias the base of that NPN transistor. Now the input for the audio is going to come through that 10 microfarad capacitor and ground. To make a differential amplifier we're going to need another one of these amplifiers like this. And I'm going to link these together through the power supply like this. And now this is our completed differential amplifier. On the left we've got an input 1 and an output 1 and on the right we've got an input 2 and an output 2. For my first demonstration I'm going to put a bi-directional red and green LED between the outputs of 1 and 2. And here is the setup. And those you can see the uh, two large 10 microfarad capacitors. That's the input. One is on the left and two is on the right. And I am going to be injecting an audio signal into each of those input capacitors. Okay, signal into one, red, signal into two, green, back to one, and now I'm going to short between the two inputs and look what happens. The LED goes out even though I'm injecting a signal. Now I'm going to lift the short and the green will light again. Okay, this is what took place. When I injected a signal in one we saw that the red LED came on and we did have current flow from 1 to 2 because 2 is not amplifying anything. Now when I injected the signal in 2 the green light lit and that's because one is not amplifying anything and there was some current flow between two and one. However, when I shorted the inputs and injected the signal at both ends, there appeared to be no output. There was no current flow between transistors one and two. But there's a lot more going on than that. And this is going to be my next demo. I'm going to put an audio transformer between the two so we can hear what's going on. And I'm also going to take a look at the one and two outputs with an oscilloscope. Okay, here I'm going to hook up the scope to the output of transistor 1. Now I'm going to inject 
into one. We hear the tone and we can see the trace on the scope. Now I'm going to move the scope over to transistor two and we'll see that there's almost nothing there. Now I'm going to move the inject into two. We can hear the tone and see the trace. Move the scope over to one and there's almost no trace. Back to one. Now I'm going to short the two inputs. The sound goes away, but we still have a trace on the scope. And we also have a trace on two. Now we don't have any sound because both signals are the same coming out of each transistor. Now when I lift the lead, we get our tone back. Okay, now what we just saw was when the outputs at 1 and 2 are identical, we don't hear anything because there is no difference between the signals. It's only when there is a difference, either at 1 or at 2, is when we heard the tone. There are many uses for this type of amplifier, and let me give you just one idea. Let's say that you had recorded a speech and there was some recorded music in the background and later on you wanted to remove the music that recorded music well if you had another tape recorder that had just the music on it and you put the outputs of both of those into a differential amplifier and synced up the music both in time and in level, that differential amplifier will null out the music and just about the only thing that you'll hear coming out of the differential amplifier is the speech. Thanks for watching.